What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with this week's review for Star Wars The Bad Batch. So in this case, it's going to be Season 1, Episode 6, Decommissioned. So in the continued effort to tie the Star Wars universe together, and in this case, Episode 3 to 4, and a little bit of Solo, we have the group taking on another job and going to Corellia to steal a destroyer droid for some of the knowledge and information and contents that the droid has. And in the process, the group comes across the Martinez sisters from, I want to say Star Wars Rebels, but it feels like they might have been in Clone, at the, in the last season of Clone Wars when Ahsoka, and I think right at the end of Clone Wars when Ahsoka goes to the lower levels of Coruscant after she leaves the Jedi Order and she's working on making her way. And she befriends the sisters, so they're also on the search for the droid and they get the contents because the Bad Batch does the right thing by once they've copied the contents of the droid onto a data stick, or basically the Star Wars version of the USB drive, they give her a copy because she's doing the right thing and to show that they're not the same as the other clone troopers. Um, so we have that connection as well, but the main connection is that we head to Corellia for a data heist, um, which ties us to um, so the solo film and then um, Basically, that's that. Um, so essentially, um, there's a couple of connections in that to the original Star Wars trilogy. Notably, when we start at the beginning of the episode, we have the team um, getting to Corellia by latching onto an Imperial Star Destroyer, which um, is a copy of what the Millennium Falcon did in The Empire Strikes Back. Which I want to say, I want to say that either the design this design flaw is really well known or it's easy to get because the Imperial the Empire has standardized everything. So I got to thinking that that's a weird design flaw that if the Bad Batch is able to do it that either the Empire doesn't know about it, they don't care, or they use it for other stuff that we don't know about so they have to leave it available, but I thought that was an interesting tie in there. Um, but otherwise I didn't find that we had any other solo connections. So um, I'm guessing that Han Solo never went back to Corellia, and I'm assuming that this episode takes place after the um, events of the film, so um, I guess that there would have been an interesting setup here. Um, so granted there's a limited amount of stuff that they can do in a 21 minute episode, but it would have been nice to see if um, they had if they could have had a conversation with the um, underground community that the Solo, Han Solo was a part of, or maybe the Martinez sisters talked to her or something like that to have that obvious connection. But otherwise, I, I'm i going to have to watch the episode again to see about, maybe I missed it or something like that, to see if there was a better Solo connection, but that would have been nice to see. Um, as far as my favorite part of this episode, um, I liked when one of the Martinez sisters asked if there's an Echo in here, and Echo says, yeah, me, basically, so I thought that was pretty nifty and a bit of corniness, but overall a good light-hearted moment in the middle of a um, battle sequence. And then, of course, the big tease at the end is who was the Martinez sister, I think, and I always confuse the two, but which one, or who was she talking to? So I was think thinking of the obvious choices that she was probably talking to Bail or Ghana, maybe um, Mon Mothma or Saul Guerrera. Um, so she's basically talking to her rebels contacts because after talking to uh, and even potentially Ahsoka based on the robes, so maybe she, uh, they're all working together and this data information was part of that. And um, by teaming up or maybe arranging the meeting between whoever the, her, um, the Martinez's sister's contact is and the Bad Batch, they are able to get their purpose to show that not all clone troopers are bad. So that's all there is for this particular review. So um, the, basically the Bad Batch is going to act as mercenary, mercenaries for now until they get more information on what to do or potentially now um, maybe teaming up with the rebels or even separately with Ahsoka or um, maybe some of the rebel leadership to uh, give them some sort of 
um, missions to do as being rebels and outside of the Empire because they want to still work for the Republic. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.